coming up on this edition of Southwest TV News. Safety has been an ongoing concern for motorists and pedestrians along the Trans-Canada Highway through Swift Current. The winds of change are blowing at the Swift Current Chamber of Commerce with the appointment of a new CEO. The landscape is starting to take shape at the new Cypress Point subdivision in Swift Current. Thanks for joining us here today. New safety lighting is being installed along the number one highway through Swift Current. We have more in today's top story. Safety has been an ongoing concern for motorists and pedestrians along the Trans-Canada Highway through Swift Current. And back in April, crews began the process of installing a series of lights to improve the driving experience through the area at night. And now the city is indicating progress is being made on the project. The first uh, stretch of, uh, of lights is actually up and, and functioning. So uh, as of last Friday night, uh, we, we managed to get the off-ramp coming uh, westbound from, uh, from the east uh, lit up and, and a section of, of the actual highway is also done. So we'll be continuing uh, uh, westward uh, till we get to the uh, project end, which is at 11th Avenue Northwest, and then turning around and working our way back, uh, back towards, uh, towards the east end, uh, hopefully completing somewhere around the end of August. The $1.2 million project is a partnership with the Government of Saskatchewan and the City of Swift Current, where the province is covering 65% of the cost for materials, and the city is picking up the remaining 35% through labour costs and the installation and maintenance of the lights. The lights stand 15 metres high and are installed approximately 60 metres apart on the right side of the roadway, providing high efficiency and low maintenance illumination for the area. There is 188 lights total, uh, so all the off and on ramps are, are lit as well as the whole section of the highway through town. And then the, the last portion of it is actually the, uh, the intersection uh, at the uh, SO station at the west end of town there uh, will be done as well. And if all goes according to schedule, the installation of the new safety lighting along the number one highway through Swift Current should be completed by the end of August. For over 12 years, Southwest TV News has provided the visuals for the defining moments in our community. Support your community and help us to continue our work. Support our sponsors by watching the ads on YouTube and by clicking the ads on our website. Pennies per click, which will help us continue to bring you the award-winning news coverage you've come to expect from Southwest TV News. The Cypress Hills Interprovincial Park is a popular destination for tourists throughout the summer months. Guests from around the world come to the park to be one with nature and enjoy the many amenities from camping, hiking trails, and more. There's nothing quite so pretty as the hills that shouldn't be. The Swift Current Chamber of Commerce has hired a new CEO, and she's ready to tackle the job at hand. The winds of change are blowing at the Swift Current Chamber of Commerce with the appointment of a new CEO. Carla Weens was introduced as the new CEO during a press conference at the Chamber office. Weens grew up in Swift Current, has a Bachelor of Science degree in Agriculture, and is a financial planner and is now looking forward to her new role with the Chamber. I love talking to business people. The innovation, the risk-taking, the constant change in the face of their business environments. It's always interesting conversations and I firmly believe that a thriving business community is essential for the rest of the community as well to thrive and, and continue. And Swift Current is doing a pretty good job so far. A strong skill set and sense of enthusiasm which the Chamber Board found appealing as they wanted to fill the position of CEO in a timely fashion. During the summer months there's a lot of preparation that needs to go in for, for certain events, especially SCBEX. Um, it's a big um, event for us um, coming up in October and uh, we need someone in place that has a solid um, idea of where we're going 
um, and we needed to fill that position very quickly. Um, we had a, a lot of candidates come forward, strong candidates too, which was very difficult to make our decision. Uh, but Carla was the one that stood out the most, and I think we're going to get a, a very good return on our investment here uh, for, for the Chamber. And now the announcement made official. Carla Ween says she's ready to hit the ground running and promote the Swift Current Chamber of Commerce. My biggest challenge will be connecting with our membership. That's going to take some time, but I'm eagerly looking forward to sitting down. I, my goal is to meet and have a conversation with each and every one of, of our chamber members and also actively try to recruit new businesses to belong to the Chamber of Commerce because I firmly believe we have a lot to offer. There's all kinds of opportunities that businesses can take, take advantage of if they're aware of it. Upcoming events for the Swift Current Chamber of Commerce include their monthly Chamber on Tap gatherings and the annual SCBEX Awards in October. Imagine a destination where you can enjoy world-class dining and unique accommodations. Take a leisurely stroll through streets filled with rich history while browsing for that perfect gift. Buy fresh produce from the farmer's market and enjoy a range of cultural events while stepping back in time to learn more about Canada's Old West. Your summer destination is awaiting you in Maple Creek. For event listings and all things Maple Creek, visit our website. Mark October 18th through 21st on your calendar and plan to attend the CCA Finals Rodeo in Swift Currents. The top cowboys and cowgirls will compete in all of your favorite rodeo events, vying for the CCA Championship title. And wrap up your weekend with the CCA Finals Rodeo Cabaret featuring Sweet Tequila. Get your tickets now for the CCA Finals Rodeo, October 18th through 21st in Swift Currents. Development is taking place at the Cypress Point subdivision in Swift Currents, with a number of new housing projects underway. The landscape is starting to take shape at the new Cypress Point subdivision in Swift Currents. The 81-lot residential subdivision adjacent to the Elmwood Golf Course has been a hub of activity in recent weeks, as lots are being sold and developers are on site. Uh, we sold seven residential lots <clears throat> for single-family homes, and then there was four lots for duplexes, which would be eight duplexes because each lot has two. So I guess in total there would be a, f a total of 15 dwellings um, built there so far. Marcus further adds that additional aesthetic work will continue in the coming weeks at the site, further developing the city's newest residential subdivision. There are several homes, uh, single-family homes that are started under construction and um, two of the four duplexes are um, quite well underway. In fact, one is almost complete, so it's, it'll start to look really good. And, and we're also going to do uh, some work on the park in the middle of the, the cul-de-sac. The new Cypress Point subdivision offers a range of residential construction, including multifamily, single-family, and duplexes. More details on the Cypress Point subdivision are available through the Planning and Development Department at City Hall. Market Square is a summer tradition in downtown Swift Current, featuring live entertainment, fresh garden produce, crafts, and other unique vendors. Drop by Market Square every Saturday at the corner of Central and Chaplin. Proudly presented by the City of Swift Current, Standard Motors, Innovation Credit Union, and Southwest TV News. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across Southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at southwesttvnews.com. And be sure to follow us on a range of social media. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews. Thank <laughs> you.